This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to install 48 gig of memory into a Precision T3500 workstation. So in the description of this video, we are going to post a link to our Precision T3500 gaming computer blog page. And you want to check this page out because it's going to show you the part number of the memory that we install in this video, as well as a whole bunch of other hardware upgrade ideas for your Precision T3500 workstation. So check this page out, um, use it as a resource, and as always, comment below if you have any questions. All right, so we are going to show you the original Precision T3500 spec page. Um, and on this page, it's going to say twice that um, the max memory is 24 gig. Um, and we believe that's because at the time when they produced this system about 9, 10 years ago, uh, they didn't have the 8 gig 10600E modules or 12800E modules to install into the system. Well, that's changed. Um, now we have access to 12800E modules, um, and we're going to show you how to install six of them uh, later on in this video. All right, so here's a little bit more information um, that you'll want to know before you try to emulate uh, this install. Uh, you must have a 64 bit operating system installed uh, to utilize uh, more than 4 gig of memory. So if you only have a 32-bit OS installed and you try to install six 8-gig modules, um, it'll actually show you the full 48-gig, but it's going to say um, right around 4-gig is actually usable. So make sure you have a 64-bit OS installed before you try this. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to use all the memory. Um, the T3500 supports 8500E, 10600E, 12800E, um, or 8500U. 10600U or 12800U modules. We recommend installing the eDIMMs because they, they tend to uh, run faster than the UDIMs do. We found that the uh, 10600U modules will actually clock down to eight to the 1066 megahertz and the 10600E will actually run at 1333 megahertz. And that's assuming that your processor supports those speeds. Um, so you can check that out on Intel's website um, to see what the max speed is for your system. All right, and max speed, uh, overall on the system is 1333 megahertz. So even if you install 12800E, which are capable of running at 1600 megahertz, uh, max speed is going to be 1333 megahertz because um, you're, you're capped on that with this system board and the processors. All right, so this is really important. People always ask this, can I install registered modules into a T3500? And they mainly ask because the registered modules are like a quarter of the price of the, the regular eDIMMs. Um, and the answer is no, they will not support um, 8500R, 10600R, or 12800R. You, you should try to use 8500E, 10600E, or 12800E, um, ideally 10600E or 12800E because they'll run at 1333 megahertz. So no, the registered modules will not work in the T3500. It's really important. All right, so here's our old T3500 workstation and our six modules that we are going to install. All right, these are 12800 modules, uh, sorry, 12800E, and they all match. And so they are 8 gig, 2R by 8, PC3, which is 1.5 volt, 12800E. Uh, um, these are going to clock down to 1333 megahertz based off of our processor that's installed. All right, so let's remove our side panel to gain access to uh, the inside of the chassis. And then there's a little clip that we'll pull down to, rem to remove... Actually, it just pulls down this hard drive cage. And now we have access to remove our plastic memory shroud. All right, so now we can see all six memory slots. So here's one of our modules. You want to line the, the notch up on the, mod, on the module with the notch on the system board when you actually install these modules. But first, before we do that, we're going to actually open up all the slots uh, because when we install six modules, It'll be a little bit faster and easier to actually install those modules with the slots already open. So essentially what we're going to do is line the modules up with the slot and the notch and then click each side in so they're securely installed. So we're kind of fast forwarding through this, but no need to watch us slowly install six modules. All right, now we're ready to put our plastic cooling straw back on. Don't forget to do that. And then we will put our hard drive cage back into place. Now we can add our side panel. And from here, we're ready to plug our system back in, boot up, go into the F2 setup, and make sure our memory is actually recognizing. All right, so we've booted up. We've gone into the F2 setup. We've tapped F2. 
Uh, we can see all 48 gig of memory is recognized by the BIOS. It's running at 1333 megahertz, so that's great. Uh, but that's just one step. And as you can see, our proc and x5650 and BIOS A17, just in case you're curious. So now we boot it into Windows 10, right click on start, go to system, and we can see that we have 48 gig of memory installed. And it's all usable. If it wasn't usable, it would say, you know, like 8 gig usable out of 48. But everything is working on our system. So now we're going to go hit control delete, go into the task manager and click on performance. And we see we're using 2.1 gig of the 48 gig of memory. So everything is working perfectly on this install for us. Um, if you have any questions um, and you're trying to emulate this install, please, please uh, comment below. Ask you know any questions that you might have. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. We do tons of videos just like this one to try to help you guys out. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching.